just with Flying Burrito Bros, you, you chose Colorado. How do you, how, how do you firefall that song? Well, <laughs> co- Colorado. Okay, so. Well, Colorado, obviously, because you're from Colorado, I guess. Was well, that- yeah. And but now, Chris, uh, Rick Roberts, we, we played Colorado a lot in the first two years before we our first album. And that was one of the songs that Rick was known for, kind of based on Linda Ronstadt's big hit with that. Um, and that, uh, you know, we kind of played it, as I remember, how we did back in 1974, you know. And I didn't really listen to the Flying Greeter Brothers version of that before we started cutting it and me putting rhythm guitar parts down and building ours up because, uh, you know, it was tough. So I like that version of Colorado, um, you know, and for instance, on the Poco song, um, In the Heart of the Night, you know, it's like, I knew that our version had to be great because of all the Poco nuts around the world and the country, you know, who that's one of their favorite, favorite songs of Poco's. And of course we don't have a pedal steel player and I got to know Rusty and Rusty Young and Paul Cotton um, real well over the, the 20 years that we toured with them. And uh, I just figured, well, heck, I, there's a there's a saxophone on on live versions of Heart of the Night and I'll play slide and uh, we'll see what we come up with. And that's kind of the thing that I would like to say about this album. We didn't we didn't have any preconceptions about what a song had to sound like or what would. And it's I'm a painter and it's kind of like being in front of a blank canvas and then you start and you go, oh, I like that. Oh. And it and it's a a spontaneous creation until you get to the point of that's enough. No more, you know, and that's kind of what a producer does. But um, I just wanted to stay true to the original, you know, bands and and kept thinking about those original bands, uh, do, the Doobies, the band, you know, uh, Dan Fogelberg, that their fans from before will like our songs and and see that these were done with uh, respect and love and stuff. But you never know what it's going to turn out with like until you start getting there and going, ooh, I like this, or we don't need that anymore, and you take it out. 